are the tips that I have to give you fuller, longer lashes. So my lashes actually naturally grow kind of really straight and they're not, they're kind of sparse. But I have been using Lumigan, which is, I'm pretty sure kind of, it might be the generic version of Latisse. It's still prescription, um, but my mom happened to pick it up while she was in India. So if you know anybody traveling overseas um, for 10 bucks, it's seriously awesome. It works so well. So I don't have mascara on right now. I don't know if you can, can you see? Can you see my lashes? Yeah. Can you see them? <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is like them. way better than they, they are naturally. So I definitely have some lashes now. After about a month of using it, religiously at night before I go to bed, top and bottom, I mean, it totally works. So if you can get your hands on Latisse or anything like that, it's totally worth the money. Um, so after that, I always curl my lashes. And there's another way that I just learned to curl lashes that I'm loving and it's totally um, working. So if you're afraid of curling your lashes, um, you need to get unafraid. <laughs> you just need to practice. <laughs> don't be scared. And don't be scared and just go for it. So um, I don't have anything special with this lash curler. This is from Maybelline. I haven't tried any other ones yet, any other ones. I might try some of the ones at Sephora to see if they make a difference, but this one seems to do the trick. So all you're gonna do if you haven't really done this or you're not comfortable doing it, is just look straight into the mirror with your eye open. Make sure you get all of them in and do it slowly. Don't push against your skin here, your cheek here, or you will um, pinch yourself, <laughs> and that hurts. So don't push against your skin. And then just slowly um, squeeze down just to make sure you're not pulling. And then you can kind of pump it a little bit. And then release the tension, so they're still closed, but I'm not squeezing hard. And you're gonna lift up, so you kind of push back, and then pump again. And I get, Pretty good curl. Turn to the side. Which side? This side? No, the most, yeah. Oh, see? Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, yeah. see, Can you oh, see? Gorgeous. Can you see a difference? I see it. And sometimes I'll repeat those steps. You have to see time. it to believe it. I'm going to try it one more time just to see <laughs> if it makes a difference. I've also done, you know, where you get really close to the base and pump and then um, just pump closer to the ends. But this has been working really well. So it's actually really. I don't know, can you see? Yeah, super curly. <laughs> super curled. So I'm gonna do just this one so you can see the difference. Okay, next you want to, I like to, before I do my um, mascara, is, I've already done this, but I'll show you how to do it. If you've never tight lined to your top lashes, lash line, just take your favorite um, black eyeliner. This is Maybelline Master Drama by Eye Studio and Midnight Master. It's the black, it's really black. Um, and you can just pull up so you can see it. Maybe you can see I've done it, mm -hmm. um, but it needs to be redone. It does. It doesn't last all day, no matter what. So you kind of have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny. Um, when you get really good at it, you can just like close your eye and do it. But <laughs> it might take you a little while. Okay. So that'll give you the appearance of a thicker lash line without, even if you have no makeup on. I, I definitely have a lot of eye makeup on today. Um, but even if you have no makeup on. Um, it'll give you a thicker lash line. Okay, then take your favorite mascara. I'm using Jordana's Best Lash Extreme Volumizing. We're gonna talk about our favorite mascaras in the future, but this one's my favorite currently. So, um, I like a thicker mascara. Um, and there's two different ways you can direct your eyelashes. So if you want them to kind of wing out this way, if you have bigger eyes and you really just want the length kind of coming this way, then when you put it on, my hair out of the way here. <laughs> you can pull them out um, like toward that outer corner and the longer your lashes are the more you'll get that. Honestly for people who have longer lashes I think that's the way to go because you might not be needing that bigger eye. Um, for me, so that would be, I mean that's kind of a, what I'll get, um, I pull them up and in because I want my eye to look a little bit bigger, my lashes to look a little bit longer. So this stuff definitely you can build on. If you have a good mascara that you like, you can build. So I can do this and then I would go to my other lash. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. 
I'm very close. <laughs> yeah. They have to speak. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> Please, where's your face? <laughs> um, okay, so I would let that dry just for a minute. <laughs> I do. <laughs> About <Lashes. injury. laughs> um, One other tip that Vicky was just telling me before we started is you can take your um, a Q-tip in, in a little tiny bit of baby powder after you've done your first coat and just dab the ends if you don't have a mascara that really builds well and sometimes you might not um, and that'll just give a nice coat that then you can go back with your mascara and just brush the ends and it'll just build up and lengthen so if you like a longer lash okay so I'm just gonna go in again and this all is just like up to you on how much mascara you like to wear but I definitely pull right at the base and up, um, and then just at the very corners out. And you could comb them in between if you wanted to. Kind of up to you. So let's see the difference. Yeah. Oh, so perfect. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful, boom. Looks good. All right. <laughs>